Kia ora. my name's Anita and I am Neats Marie Reads and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today I thought I would do a book haul video. Just showing some of the books that I've recently purchased and some of the ones that I have been gifted from publishing companies and other companies. So I thought I would just quickly go through them today. I'm not going to go into detail about each book. I also went to the book fair quickly on Sunday. It's a book sale out in Katikati here uh, on the outskirts of Tauranga. So I drove out there uh, really quickly just to see what was left. I think it started on, I think there was Saturday and Sunday. So Sundays, there's never as many books left, but I still managed to walk out with six. So I thought that I would show you those two. So I'll start off with the ones that I've been gifted and then move on from there. So the first one that I was gifted uh, is part of a local book subscription box called Book Box NZ. They are based here in Mount Monganui and what it is is you can set up a profile online on their website and then select the genres that you like reading and then every month a box, it's like a present, comes to you, uh, delivered to your door and it will have a new book for you. So if you're someone who doesn't really know what they want to read and gets a bit flustered about how many books are out there and how many book reviews you read, I find that it's quite a good way to receive books that you haven't necessarily heard of before. The one that I got for the, from them for this month is The Paris Agent by Kelly Rimmer. So this one sounds really good. I have heard of it, but I just have never thought that would be one that I'd grab. So I'm really excited to read that one. So thank you, Bookbox NZ. I will link the uh, website in the description below so that you can go and check them out if you're... You, you don't have to be local. You can be anywhere in New Zealand. Um, but yeah, highly recommend checking them out. The next one that I received is The Water's Dead by Catherine Lee. Now, Catherine Lee is a, a local author here in New Zealand and she sent me this one. She actually sent me two, so she said that if I enjoyed this one, then I could do a giveaway with the other copy. So I will do that. I will most likely do that on my Bookstagram account because it's more active than here or TikTok. This was so good. Now this is based in New Zealand up north and wow, I really really enjoyed it so I am looking forward to giving the other copy away so that other people can read it. So thank you Catherine. The next ones that I received are from HarperCollins. So I got Rogue by Mona Awad. She is the author of Bunny and I am yet to read that one. So this is available in New Zealand from the 4th of October. October? Yeah, October. I love the cover of this one. This is that one. The next one is called Dark Ride by Lou Burney. This is a thriller and I like the fact that it's not very big because most of the thrillers that I read are chunky ones and I can still get through them really quick but I look forward to ones this size because I know that I can read it even faster if it's good. So that one again comes out from the 4th of October in New Zealand. So the next one that I got was One Day We're All Going to Die by Elise Esther Hurst. I love the cover of this one as well. It's just very, I don't know, different. Sounds like it's based in Australia, which is pretty cool. I like reading ones that are based in New Zealand or Australia. I uh, don't know if I've still got the thing in this one. No, I don't. But yes, excited to read that one. The next ones that I got are from Penguin Books NZ, and they are The Fraud by Zadie Smith. Now, I love Zadie Smith. I've actually only read her short stories, but I, yeah, I need to read some more of her ones and this one is just one that seems to be everywhere on bookstagram at the moment raving so i'm looking forward to starting that one and i've actually just started this one this is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabriel zevin zevin 
This one's everywhere and I love this version. It's the vintage version of the cover. And this one is highly raved about. It is one of my 12 books recommended by 12 friends. And I just hadn't grabbed it yet. I think I got nervous because it's about gaming. I don't know. It's just things like if, if it mentions gaming, then I freak out that I'm not going to enjoy it. But I do that a lot about books. If I think, oh, I don't like that. And then I watch it. Oh, watch it. Then I read it and I'm like, okay, no, I really enjoyed it. It was kind of like Stranger Things. I'm not a sci-fi fan. And so everyone was saying that it's really sci-fi. And I freaked out thinking I'm not going to enjoy that. And then favorite, favorite program. So I've just started this. I'm only up to page 23. But I think this will be a good one. So thank you, Penguin. And thank you, HarperCollins, for the ones that you gave. So they are the ones that I've been gifted, gifted recently. I hope that I haven't missed any, but I can always show those in another video. These next ones are ones that I've purchased recently. So on the weekend while we were away in Auckland, I did actually vlog this, but I'll quickly put them in this video as well. We stopped at a few secondhand stores in Hamilton and also Auckland, but in Hamilton I couldn't find anything and in Auckland I only found two books. So one of them was Peach Blossom Spring by Melissa Fu. I love that cover. This was only, I mean originally in shops brand new, this was $38 and I got it for $2. This is what I love about secondhand shopping is if you can't afford new books, you can, well, hopefully you can afford like this price. So much better. I don't know much about this, but I have seen a few good reviews. The other one that I got in Auckland was When You Are Mine by Michael Robotham. He's the author of The Secrets She Keeps. Uh, and this one was only $4. This one just sounds like a really good thriller. And when I see thrillers, I just have to keep adding them to my pile because... Without a doubt, no matter how old it is, I'll probably race through it. So, had to get that one. These other ones I bought a couple of weeks ago from the secondhand stores here in Papamore. So, this one is Death in Her Hands by Otisa Moshfeg. This is one that I didn't own already for Moshfeg, and I love her writing style. So, this one was only $5, and I like this cover for it and then the other one that I found was Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Curian. Curian? Grade A student, grade A psychopath. So this was originally $29 and I got it for $2. So there's that one. All right, and the next ones are from the book fair on Sunday and every book fair I take this bag. This is the, you know, like how elderly people tend to take these bags everywhere with them. They are actually really handy. And I found this one on Marketplace and it's lined. So you can, oh, can you see? It's lined. So, you know, if you're wanting to go on a picnic or anything like that, keep cool things, it'll keep it cool. I only take it to book fairs because, and I feel very smug when I'm walking around and there's people struggling with their books in their arms and I'm like, Aah. I am speeding around, my arms aren't sore because I have my wheelie bag and there is no shame because I love it. So I got six books, actually I might just pull them out one by one because it'll be easier. So the first one that I got was 1984 by George Orwell. This I haven't read, but again, it's one that I see all the time. And I liked this copy. I like the copy, but I always get really nervous about small writing. So this one. The next one that I found is Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Now, I've got a few of Toni Morrison's books now. I started one and then I think I got sidetracked on another book. But this is another one where I see heaps of people rave about her books. And so if I see them, I will collect them. And I like the this cover version. Like, oh, so like 
Beloved. So it's like these covered versions of her books. I just really like. So, Song of Solomon. All of these books that I got uh, were only $2. So, I did go in there with like a budget of only wanting to spend 10 and so I spent 12 which is not too bad. Normally I could spend upwards of 30 The next one that I got is American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. I have, obviously it's about Patrick Bateman, um, I've seen the movie but I've never read the book. And so when I saw this I was like, right, I wouldn't... Ah. There's a photo in here of like a couple, like a black and white photo. I won't turn it around and show, but there's a couple. It's almost creepy that it's like American Psycho and then there's this black and white photo of a couple in it. I hope they're okay. I hope they're okay. But yeah, so I picked up that copy. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like in book form because the movie was disgustingly good. The next one that I got is Light Housekeeping by Jeanette Winterson. This copy's not um, in the best condition, but that's okay. So that's that one. And I have seen a few good reviews about this one, hence why I grabbed it. So that one, and then the next one that I grabbed is a thriller, Other People's Houses by Kelly Hawkins. The perfect house, the perfect family, too good to be true. A dark, twisting tale of guilt and obsession that will leave you gasping. So this actually, I've just recently finished A Mother's Instinct by Barbara Abel, which is going to become a movie with Anne, Jessica Chastain and Anne Hathaway. And I like Jessica Chastain. So reading this and then reading the blurb of this one, I was like, that sounds eerily similar. Um, so like, I'll just say a small bit of this one. What was so special about the Harding house? The photo of the smiling family, the perfect house with the boy who could have been mine. So if you've read that one, it does sound quite similar. So I thought, well, might as well grab this because I did enjoy that one and that one and then the last one that I got is called The Lying Room by Nikki French. Neve Connolly looks down at a murdered man, she doesn't call the police. I have never heard of this one. Uh, the brand new novel from the master psychological suspense, of psychological suspense. I, um, again like I said, I if I see a thriller I'm going to grab it. And if it's in pretty decent condition, I'll grab it. My mum also really likes thrillers, so any that I can grab that she can come and borrow as well. She's probably read some of my TBR pile that I haven't even got to yet, and then she'll come and she'll say, oh my god, that was so good, and this was so good, but then like, yeah, because my TBR pile is so huge, I don't tend to just reach for those ones straight away. Yes, they are all the new books added to the pile that I now need to try and find a nice space on my bookshelf for. You know, I sit there and I'm like, we've got a problem, but it's a good problem. It could be worse, but it's not. It could be many things, but I'm just purchasing books. And $12 worth of books is just, you know, that's just a bargain if you ask me. I'm very happy with my haul. Will I stop? No, probably not. I will keep going until my whole house is a library. Supposedly, I've had people tell me that uh, if you own a thousand books, your class is a library. I don't own that many yet. Girl, you don't need any more books. What are you doing? That TBR pile is huge and it keeps growing. And, you know, it just keep, it will, it will keep growing. I have an obsession. But yes, that is a book haul video for you. If you have read any of these books, which one should I bump up the TBR pile? Because I'm on a roll with my reading this month and I am very happy to start any other ones that you've read that you're like, yes, that was so good. You will finish that really quickly. I'm all for that. So let me know below. I would love to hear your feedback. So I hope you guys all have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. See you later, guys.
Bye.